Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upload a website on GoDaddy in 2024. So today we're going to learn how to upload a website on GoDaddy with domain. Whether you've built your site from scratch or you are using maybe a site builder, getting it online is the final step to sharing it with the world. So you'll have to follow the step-by-step -step guide to upload your website to a GoDaddy domain in 2024 so make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using like a brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you have once you open that browser basically just go to the url section then type godaddy.com hit the enter button and once you do so you'll find yourself in the home screen or main screen as you can see, if it's your first time, you will not find your username here at the top right corner. You'll find the sign-in option. So click on it to sign in into an account if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account. So basically, you'll find sign-in, click on it. Uh, down, you'll find sign-up or create an account. Click on it to create an account. You can use Google, uh, Facebook, and even Microsoft to, so you, can, so you don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. And once you do so, you'll find yourself here with your accounts logged in. So you'll need, of course, to first of all, check your domain if it's ready. So you can go click on your username at the top right corner, click on my product. And to check if you have, first of all, domain, just on my products here, and there's this domain, as you can see for me, you don't have any domains yet. Make sure it's easier. Uh, of course, make it easier for customers to find your site by attaching a domain. So I'll just go here and click on manage all. So first, if you have a domain name already, on another website or uh, domain provider like a Bluehost or I don't know, like something like that, you can simply click on transfer domain to GoDaddy. So just click on it, on it and enter the domain name that you have. Like let's say, for example, this is my domain name, just something like created. I don't know if it's even will be there. Then click on continue. Of course, if you have more than one, make sure to enter them all, just paste them all, and make sure to unlock your domain to get authorization access for them all. Or you can simply import a file if you have them like uh, in, in a file, uh, transferred or uh, saved. Of course, here you can even find some transfer uh, tips, make sure to read them out and to follow those tips. Then once you enter them out here, make sure to click on continue. Once you do so, as you can see, uh, here, as you can see, it can't be transferred because I don't know, it's just a name that I just entered there. If it's real and if you have authorization for it, you'll find like it will be able to transfer it and you'll be able to transfer it by clicking on go to checkout. If not, or if you don't have a domain name, you don't have it on like example anywhere, uh, you don't have it on uh, another domain provider or anywhere else, you can start by buying a new domain by clicking on find your first domain here. Click on it and make sure to enter the domain that you want. Let's see example, the same domain that I entered uh, there. So maybe .com. I'll just go here and click on search. And yeah, as you can see, so exact match in here. Uh, as example, I can get .com for $0.01 for first year with three years sims though. So you'll have to pay for three years, but the first year you'll have just to pay $0.01. But if you want to get like this one, you'll be able to pay $0.99, but for uh, one year, and you can get it just for one year. So it seems great. Of course, you can click on make it yours. For me, I already click on make it yours. Uh, so I'll have it, as you can see here on my checkout. As you can see, it's not the same one, but it's kind of the same one. So I'll just try it with this one. So I'll just click on make it yours as an example, and then click on continue. Of course, here they will tell you if you want to add some protection to it and etc. Of course, it will cost you. For me, I will just do no domain protection, uh, no email like uh, account or something like that added. Of course, you can add it if you want to. Then click on continue to cart. Once you do so, you'll be basically taken to cart and you'll be basically have to pay for it. And the domain will be yours now, right now. So as an example, uh, you see, as you can see here, it's uh, more than we see we saw before. So for me, I'll just go and change it to one year and the price should go down. So you just go see, yeah, as you can see, the price go down. So for me, I'll just go and delete that. I'll adjust this one. And as you can see, the price is that. So you can pay with PayPal right away or you can simply pay it uh, with whatever 
payments you have or you want click on it and pay your thing and you will be good to go so other than that and just go here once you have your domain it's time first of all to go and access the web hosting navigate to like i'll just go here my products example back now you should find the domain that you just buy or just transferred from another domain provider in here so once you do so you will have to go into of course you'll have to access your web hosting uh, where you have your website now and in the web hosting you will need to find the hosting account associated with the domain that you want to upload on your uh, website then click on manage and then of course you'll need to go and open the file manager you'll have to look for cpanel admin or file manager option and click on it and the file manager will allow you to upload and manage files on your web server then in the file manager you need to uh, navigate to the root directory of your website usually you'll find it named public uh, html and this is where your website of course files need to be uploaded if you have multiple domains ensure that you are in the correct directory for the domain you're working on of course you'll find that once you get your domain for me i'll not be able to show you that exactly so i'm just telling you the steps or an example you can even uh, access the help center so for example i'll just type here uh like what i want so upload my websites upload uh websites to domain as example so if you want to see the exact steps so example uh regan access to my domain no not this one of course make sure to uh add all of those and connecting like your domain to a website for example how to see it so as you can see they ha even have a video they have articles they have everything lessons everything to do with it so if you want more details they'll show you exactly how because they own this thing so they don't have to pay for something to show you or something like that so it's going to be easier for them so once you upload it make sure to after uploading your files and configuring the domain test your website by entering the, the domain name in a web browser ensure that all pages load correctly and that there are no missing files and or broken links and make any necessary adjustments if something is not uh, displaying as expected so there you have it you successfully uploaded your website on godaddy domain that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye